My money is in this bank, and I'm going to take it out. Well, then you have to abide and by the rules, that, and you have to have a mask on. Is, this is a state? It's not. Exactly. Businesses have the right to refuse service, even if you're not wearing That's a mask. That's their choice. That's why you take my money out. Awesome. Okay. Well, you need to go and get a mask, and then take okay. your money out. You're not allowed to do... I've been waiting here Ma'am, listen, minutes. we're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. What are you going to do, arrest me? Yes, for intruding on premises. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. And you believe in this? I believe in it. Do you believe in this? The laws, yes. The law says that I do not have to wear a mask. You can not in public, my but you're right. not in public. You're not in my, public. Yes. I'm not going to argue with you about place. this. This is not a public place. I'm this is a private I'm, business. I'm no, you're business. not. We're going to go outside. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm kidding? Well, I don't know. Because let's let's walk, go walk outside. You've got some issues. I've got issues. That you're taking away okay. people's human rights. Okay. Oh, let's go outside. Is he let's go outside. shoot me, people? Is no. going to shoot me for trying not to breathe? Cool. Come cool. on, Come on, dude. Don't re- oh, do not do that. Oh, no. Do not touch me. Who do you think you are? Point time. One oh, back thing. up. Back up. Some old lady is getting handcuffed here. Yeah, people. Ow. Ma'am, are put you? your hands behind you your back. Here. Say it. You don't stop resisting. Dude. Stop. Are you gonna? Is anybody gonna like get real here? Really? Relax. No one's gonna get real. Wow. Come on. Oh, are you gonna smash my head to the ground now? Now you're smashing my arm into my private area. Your private area? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. My hand is behind my back, sir. This one. Turn over on your stomach. Put your hand behind your back. Relax. I'm totally relaxed. You're the no, you are not relaxed. Is anybody going to get real? I mean, what exactly was she asking people to do? To fight the police? She says that the police harassed her. Uh, she later says the police broke her foot. They did not, by the way. Uh, this is a throwback, Karen. And let me tell you why I'm highlighting this. You saw in real time what it looks like when privilege runs out. Now, privilege is not 100%. In this case, somebody said, damn your privilege. Now, I want to remind you, the officer was still very calm. I guarantee you if that would have been a black male, he would not have said, "Oh, come on now, come on. Let's go ahead and get down there. Go go ahead and put your hands behind your back. No, it would have been different language used. Would have been much more aggression, right? So he was very calm throughout the whole ordeal, even called an ambulance for her trouble. Uh, But yes, a private bank can enforce policies as it relates to shoes, shirts, mask, decency, language. If you use profanity, they can ask you to leave. If you don't have a mask because they have a policy for a mask mandate in the middle of a pandemic, private companies can do that. Now, she gets arrested, she's shocked. She wants people to help her, her privilege has run out. Remember, she's asking people to help her and everybody around her, they're wearing a damn mask. They're following the rules and she wants them to help her no mask behind. Ma'am, all you had to do was put on the mask they provided at the bank for you. This was a real simple fix. But here's the other part, she has a dog inside of her car. Ma'am, you're not even thinking about the pet, ma'am, you are horrible. You have a whole dog outside and you're willing to get arrested. Dog got there in the hot ass sign. Come on now. Here's what happened next. I refuse to listen to the guitar. Come on. You know what? I think She's getting your stuff. Car. Come on. I think you broke my freaking foot. Okay, I'll call. And that's my business over there. Yeah, she's going to pick it up. Come on. We're going outside. One in custody. This is what they do to you. Slow everybody down. Okay, um, I've got my dog in my truck. I got you. I'm 10 4. Uh, send EMS for a 60 year old white female. She's complaining of uh, foot pain. Yeah. You Take broke a seat. my damn foot. Take a seat. So dramatic. She said she's being arrested for not wearing a mask. No, ma'am. I'm sure your charge docket says you're being arrested for criminal trespass. I'm positive. That's what it says. Uh, Senator Turner. You saw that pivotal moment where she realized when keeping it real goes wrong. (laughs) 
<laughs> she took it too damn far, didn't she? Took it too far. <laughs> she did. I mean, she could have had a transaction done and all the time she's <laughs> right. raising all that ruckus. And I believe she was arrested for the same thing. She pulled that same thing back in March. I mean, this That's is right. her MO. This is what this 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 woman does on a regular basis. Just but yeah, it ran out. And you're right, the officer was so kind, really so was. genteel to her. She was talking all that smack. Yeah. Until he said, This is really going down, ma'am. We're gonna arrest you. And yes, you are getting handcuffed too. Yeah. You know, what's interesting about this whole thing is that many of these individuals are the same people that would say to unarmed black men and unarmed black women, black and brown bodies that get Accosted or even killed by the cops. Well, why didn't they just follow the rules? Right. Why didn't they why cooperate? Did they, why did they not cooperate? They were not yes. complying. 